Hey everybody, this is Don over at Johnny's Used Cars. Today I'm going to show you a 2010 Mazda MPV. This is the new body design that we've been carrying. Very, very popular vehicle for the families out here. Uh, it's got just under 89 or 88,000 kilometers, which is approaching about 53,000 miles. Okay, so let's take a look around. We'll show you the features inside. Now this is an eight passenger vehicle in the 300 series category, but it is the larger category. The road tax per year is going to be 19,000 yen which is about $175 with the current exchange rate. The road tax is due every April, May time frame. So if you purchase from us, we'll take care of the 2021 for you. And then it's on you next year to get it. So you can see the, this is the higher grade. Uh, it's got a lot of chromed out uh, features on the exterior. But let's take a look inside. And before I do, uh, this, uh, these do have the rain guards on the doors. So the rain guards are meant uh, to allow you to open up the windows about two to three inches. This way, if it rains, you don't have to worry about it um, getting wet inside. And then that'll help uh, give you a little uh, cross ventilation to keep it a little bit cooler during the summer months where it's just drastically hot. So take my advice, I, I, I forget to say this in some of the um, videos, go ahead and get yourself a good windshield visor, okay? Uh, anything you do to reduce the heat in here, uh, is gonna help you a lot. Okay, so it does have the um, the key fobs here. So as long as it's on your person, you just uh, go ahead and crank it over as if the keys were inside. So if the key, um, and I have the tape here, there is a metal key in here. So if the um, battery wears out on your uh, remote, go ahead and take the key out. This cap pops off and you can go ahead and put it in like a regular ignition. Uh, I'm gonna let me do this. Try to turn off that TV. All right, so 87,928 on the odometer. Why this isn't going. I just want to turn this off. All right, can't turn it off, so I'm gonna... All right. All right, and then let's show you a couple little warning lights as I'm gonna to try to turn on the air conditioner because it is really hot. Okay, so uh, the first one in the middle there, that circular one, that is your emergency brake. It's not a low pressure tire gauge, I get that a lot. But uh, it's, it is a kick type, so when you kick it, disengage, it goes away. Kick it again, it comes back on. Uh, down there uh, in the middle, that is obviously your seatbelt one. So make sure you wear your seatbelt on and off base. They do give tickets out here, uh, so you don't want to get uh, tickets. And then obviously your fuel. Uh, other than that, it's a straightforward instrument cluster straight ahead. Uh, if there's any warning lights that pop up while you're driving, please pull over, find out what it is, and take the necessary action, okay? Uh, off to the left here, you do have your display uh, for air conditioning, time, temperature, everything else. Uh, your radio. This does have a uh, back camera. Okay, and air conditioning controls. It does have a little uh, storage right there underneath. Ashtray and your shifter. Yeah, make sure the seat's all the way back. Uh, it does have your, um, your power outlet slash lighter down here as well. Uh, you do have a center console. Uh, this one flips over uh, as a cup holder, and you have two cup holders here as well. On each door you have some storage along with a cup holder on each side. Off the right here, uh, a little coin slot. And then above that, this, do, this does have dual power sliding doors, okay? Let's see what else. Um, it does have uh, a place for your sunglasses. Then let's take a look around, eye level, let me see where I am. Yeah, you can't see past the windshield wipers. A lot of these vehicles, the, um, the hoods just slant down where you're not going to see anything. It does have factory tint on the back. If you want to get darker, you are able to do that on the, on the back ones, not the front three. Okay. Uh, my leg space, I am 5'11", so with the seat all the way back, all the way down, I can drive as is uh, and be comfortable if need be, which you probably don't need it. Um, um, I can slide this up an inch or two and still be comfortable. Uh, what I like showing, um, we do have our... Um, auction sheet here if I can get it open it is rated number four so it is a non-accident vehicle okay and we'll leave that up there uh, you can take that it'll be a good selling point when you get it ready to get out of here in a couple years let's see is that about it just a couple things I want to show you uh, before I get out um, you got two two levers here obviously one is for your gas and then this other one's for the hood okay so don't forget that oh real quick um, almost forgot that's your etc reader uh so it's electronic toll collector it works like easy pass like in the states uh so you don't have to stop to get a ticket uh in the beginning or pay at the end when you're done using the expressway um but one, one pull of the handle let it go and it opens 
And you have captain's chairs here. And you can see this, um, this right here, that lever. Uh, that lever is to slide that over, and you can slide that other one over where you can make this a three passenger, or you keep it separate like captain's chairs. It does have the um, the armrest on each side, and then this is a kid favorite. Um, you pull this up, and that comes out as a leg rest. Okay, we're gonna put that back down, and you gotta pull up the handle and push it down to get it back in. And you can also see this is on a, a rail system, so you can slide these all the way forward if you need, uh, depending on how much space you need. And then as far as the door, you can pull the handle or just push the button here on the column one time and it'll go ahead and go. You do have an option to turn these um, uh, power doors off uh, if you don't want your kids messing with it uh, like they always do. Okay, so like I said, armrest. Uh, on the back of each each um, driver's seat and passenger seat, you do have some uh, compartments here, a pouch that you put a uh, storage in. It does have a um, grocery hook as well. So probably about uh, six pounds is enough. There you have your cup holder, and this cup holder is for the middle person if you have the seats together back here on your other cup holder on the other sliding door. Um, space, it, it, I got over six inches of uh, space between my knees and uh, the back of the driver's seat. This is your rear space. I'm going to show you a better picture once I get back here. So again, you can slide these uh, center seats forward to give uh, the rear passengers a little extra space. Uh, it does have air conditioning controls back here and vents all the way to the back. Okay. All right, let's go to the rear. There you got your camera. All right, I'm gonna just drip on my phone here. All right, so there's a space in the back. This is a deep pocket. Okay, they don't have uh, spare tires on these. It's just a tire repair kit off to the left there. And then these seats are 50-50, so you can pull this uh, and push it forward and pull it on back. Uh, that's the rear space. Like I said, the uh, two center ones can slide forward. And then it does have cup holder and a little bit of storage over on this side. And then just two cup holders on the right side. Let's close that. Very, very clean vehicle. Let's uh, go up front here. We'll show you under the hood. And there you got it. Very nice conditioned vehicle, very clean. All right, again, 2010, this is the newest one that I have. Uh, just under 2010 Mazda MPV, just under 88,000 kilometers. Uh, see the military price of 5,600 on there. We give you an additional military discount uh, that'll take it down to 5,400. That'll include the two-year JCI, the one-year bumper-to-bumper full warranty, the 2020 road tax, or I'm sorry, 2021 road tax, and the 10% sales tax already included. The only thing on top will be your American insurance requirement. That's based on your pay grade and age and whether you're going liability or full coverage. Totally up to you. Um, I always encourage my customers to just go out and uh, shop around and then come out to Johnny's let us show what we, what we have here for you. Um, if you're out and about, you have any questions, you think you're not getting the right information, please go ahead and contact us. Our contact information is below. If you're on the, your phone watching this, please click the uh, title of the vehicle or title of the video and that'll take you to YouTube. Or if you're on our website, click the YouTube icon on the bottom right of the video. That'll take you to YouTube so you can see that information for yourself. Um, if there's anything I can do for you, please just contact me. I'm always willing to assist you, especially that you're in a new duty station, new country. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Um, hope to see you soon and take care.